But do you think that going forward we should review the capital expenditure direction in terms of where fresh borrowings will go? Mm -hmm. Because there yeah, are some are saying that let these funds go directly to projects that can pay for itself. And yeah. And, and that is it. And uh, you stretch and you go into the budget, and all sort of debates comes up. That mm -hmm. a typical example is the National Cathedral. I'm someone mm -hmm. saying that I am prepared to pay for it as a Christian. I don't mind paying a thousand Ghana cities, five hundred Ghana mm -hmm. cities of my personal contribution to this yeah. every month. It comes the argument about when taxpayers' money goes into this project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's it's an argument, and and the cathedral has become such an inflammatory topic that I'm not sure we can exhaust it mm -hmm. here. Um, of course, I, I believe in um, the, the uh, authenticity of, of, of spirituality in what we do. Uh, but that's me personally, and we need to find a way um, to make sure that the cathedral gets built. You know, um, you know outside of government, uh, we shall find a way to, to get around that. Uh, but, but truly, in terms of um, other infrastructure and, and capital uh, expenditures that we are going to have. You know, we finally passed the PPP law, mm -hmm. which really is now moving us a lot more away from government, you know, investing in these things into bringing in private capital to support that. And I think that will remove a huge burden and also ensure that governance on a private sector basis is what then comes to prevail and that will make those changes. So those are important changes and that will then impact the way in which capital expenditures are and reduce therefore government's need um, to fund these projects.